For this morning, I am in the city of Bologna, and it's such a beautiful city here in Italy. What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen and today I'm in the beautiful Italian city of Bologna. It is Monday morning, it is 30 degrees outside and it is smoking hot. So today is a special day for me because I have been driving far from Denmark all the way here to Bologna specifically because just 15 minutes outside of the city there is the Ducati factory and since I'm driving on a Ducati motorcycle I thought it would be so cool to go there on that see how it looks like so but this morning I am in the city of Bologna and it's such a beautiful city here in Italy the streets are so beautiful it's full of light the old buildings is just amazing and I stayed here since yesterday the food is incredible too and there's again so much life in these Italian streets so I'm gonna show you a little bit more of Bologna later on today but now I'm gonna get to the hotel I'm gonna get dressed and then we're going to the Ducati factory in Bologna on a Ducati motorcycle so let's go guys Right now I'm walking here in the center of the city at the Piazza Maggiore where you have the beautiful fountain here in the middle of the city. There's so many people and this is actually not a city that is known for having a lot of tourists but I sure have met a lot already. Uh, some people from Poland, some people from Hungary and yesterday I actually had a coffee and a beer with a girl from Belgium so yeah there's quite a lot of people here everybody is so friendly i think everybody is just enjoying this good weather and the beautiful architecture here in the city but now i'm gonna head to the hotel room get changed because i'm heading to the factory oh, i'm so excited let's go and another thing i want to mention in this episode is i want to make a massive shout out to the members of the channel thank you so much guys for your support i really appreciate it especially in these times where i'm traveling around so much it's really hard work so thank you very much to all the youtube members for your support and of course to all the other subscribers who's helping to like share the videos comment um, it really helps my channel so much so thank you guys thanks a lot all right guys let's get on the road all right guys 20 minutes to the ducati museum and factory Let's go! Alright guys, we are getting close. One minute, the GPS says, and I just saw a lot of other motorcycles going this way. So, ah, I'm so excited to see it. I know it's just a factory and a museum, but it's just, there's something special about being here, I think. Coming all the way from Denmark and being here on at Ducati, at the Ducati factory. Oh, and I see it, it's right there. Ducati factory store, amazing. I'm hoping I can get some new gloves. This is it, guys. And now I'm excited to see because as far as I know, there's something about if you are rolling on a Ducati, then you're allowed to park inside the gate. But if you're not, then you have to park outside the gate. So let's see if we can find the gate and see if I'm allowed to go inside. Or maybe I just passed the entrance, or is it here? Museum entrance for visitors. I think it's here. This is where you are allowed to park if, if you own a Ducati. And here are some other Ducatis. Diavola, the Multistrada, another monster, another Multistrada, amazing. So yeah, let's park it here and let's go inside and check it out. All 
Alright guys, so I've made it here to the entrance and there's something about if you own the Ducati you will actually get a discount here. I think normally it's 30 euros but it's 20 if you have a Ducati but let's ask and see. I think it's something like that. Ciao! Ciao! So uh, first of all, is it okay I film you as well? To me it's okay. Okay, perfect. So uh, how do I um, check in here? How does it work? So you have a Ducati, so you have a discount on the entrance. I have a Ducati, yes. Okay. How much is the discount? Sorry? 12 instead of 17. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay. All right, guys. So now I paid the entrance. It was only 12 euros to get in. And uh, yeah, the very, very nice tour guide lady named Sarah she helped me out a lot so she said that the gift shop it closes here at one o'clock and I think it's about 11 30 now so I will do that first I got my Ducati pass I got a headset so I can listen in on the on the tour and yeah let's go inside I need some water and I really need a I really want a Ducati t-shirt before I leave here so I'm gonna head to the gift shop first and then we're gonna start the tour right over there so let's do it Check this out. <laughs> Ducati parking only. All other cars will be towed. All other vehicles will be towed. I think I need one of those. All right guys, so in here in the shop, you can get pretty much everything. You can get t-shirts, of course. You can get Ducati watches. You can get hats. You can get coats. Uh, that's an awesome looking helmet up there, but I already did bring a helmet, so it doesn't mind to make sense to buy a new one here. But yeah, you can get pretty much everything here, and it looks super cool. So I will, of course, be buying some stuff, but I will do that after the lunch break. Now I want to go to the museum. Let's see how that looks, because I think there's some really nice bikes there. So let's go. So guys, once you've been inside the little shop over here, you have to go outside again to get inside of the museum. And more stairs. Thank God I'm wearing shorts or leather pants. Wow. First thing you see when you get in is of course the beautiful Ducati motorcycles lined up. I just want to try all of them. There's the Street Fighter, of course, uh, similar to the one that I tried in Jakarta. And there is the Scrambler, there's the Scrambler, there's the Multistrada. And I can't remember the name of this one again. I bet that some of you out there will know what the name is. I can't remember, but my buddy Edward has one. Guys, right here behind me, we have the Tiny Gali V4 SP, a 214 horsepower motorcycle, and it looks amazing. So, guys, does this one look familiar? This is actually one of the first Ducati Monster, the Ducati Monster 900 that was made by the Argentinian designer Miguel, Miguel Galusi because he wanted to take the motorcycle back to the bare fundamentals and this was one of the first so-called naked bikes. That's why the Monsters have become so, so popular because of the low handlebars, the big front uh, headlight that you also see on a lot of scramblers now and the monster model simply became so popular because it was so easy to customize in so many ways so that is probably the most similar bike to the one i'm bringing today the ducati monster s2 r 1000 from 2007. so right here in this big hallway you have all these motorcycles that have won the races over the years and then here on the wall you can see from which year who rode it and you can see how the race was won so just walking here you can get so much history about Ducati and you can actually stand right next to a winning bike 
But now guys, for the bike that I think is the most exciting to see and the one that I really, really want one day. It is a motorcycle that has four motorcycles in one. It has the street bike. It has the touring Gran Turismo bike. It has the city bike and the enduro street bike. It is the Multistrada 1200. So in my opinion, it's such a cool bike because it can do pretty much everything. And you know, the technology now is so advanced. The body in the front is so wide that you barely notice any wind at all. So this is a bike that you can drive on very long tours, very long on the highway with, without no problems at all. It is a 1200cc two cylinder monster of a beast, even though it's not the monster, but it is still a monster. And I want one. One day, one day, ladies and gentlemen, one day. Imagine riding the streets in Jakarta or just even here on a motorcycle like this. I love those old school motorcycles, the classics. Just, oh, when I get rich one day, I'll get one of those. But there is one thing that you simply just want to do when you're here, and that is sit on the bikes. But of course, you are not allowed to do that. That makes perfect sense since it is a museum. But let me tell you, it's really hard not to do that. They should have like a test center where you can try out the bikes. That would be super cool. But besides that, I've now done the round here at the museum. It's really nice. If you do love Ducatis, I will recommend you to come here to Bologna and see it for yourself. So guys, I think that's gonna be it here from the museum in Bologna. Now let's head back to Bologna city. I want to show you how that looks in the afternoon evening because it's so cozy. So let's get back on the Ducati. Let's get out of here and to Bologna city. Let's go. So guys, this is kind of like a checkpoint that when you go on the highways here in Italy, you have to pay kind of like a tax for driving. And it's actually quite expensive. Driven on this highway for like, grazie. 30 minutes now, three euros. Grazie, grazie. No, it's okay. Have a good day. So today was actually not that bad. I think it's because the distance was so short. It was only three euros. But yesterday I drove more than 200 kilometers and I paid 25 euros. So, yeah. It comes at a price to drive on these toll roads in, in Italy. Italia. Forza Italia. guys I'm now back in Bologna after the Ducati museum tour and I'm walking here in the main street with the Due Thierry the two highest towers here in Bologna right behind me and it's such a beautiful city I can highly recommend anyone to come here it's not touristy at all in my opinion and there's so many things you can see there's so many beautiful buildings and so many nice restaurants that you can go to and I just uh, found out that more than 150 different nationalities live in this city of only 400,000 people. So that's super cool. So now I want to show you guys a little place that I found yesterday where they had some really, really nice food. I didn't eat it because I didn't bring my camera and I wanted to show you guys. So let's go and find that restaurant. But before that, I just want to show you a few things here in Bologna. So some of you have been asking, how is like the Corona situation in France, in Italy? Oh, it's really windy here. Ooh, one second, I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah, and I almost forgot. So the Corona situation in France, in Italy, right here where I am now, you don't have to wear a mask in public. It's not like Monaco, where even though you're outside, there's so many distance, you have to wear a mask. No, not here. But if you go to a shop, you do have to wear the mask. I have been noticing though that people, they don't tend to care. If you walk into a shop without a mask, even a lot of the shopkeepers don't wear a mask. So I have a general feeling that people are just getting tired of all the restrictions. But I thought, let's try and ask a local how it's been here in Bologna 
during the, the pandemic and how it's affected the business here. I think I know how, but let's try and ask a local. So I did talk to this guy just before who was doing paintings, uh, mostly as a hobby here in Bologna. And he said, of course, it had been very, very bad. But he also said that things are looking up now. There's more tourists coming to the city. He's selling more paintings every day. And he was really, really skilled. And most importantly, I asked him if he was happy. And he said that he loved living here in Bologna and that he was happy. So I think that's pretty good. It seems like the pandemic is slowly going away. Businesses is getting back to what it was. Thank God for that. Alhamdulillah. So I'm here at the restaurant called Impero and I went here last night just to get something quick. I had a juice, had a sandwich, it was really good. So I saw this plate they were making and now I'm back to try it and they have so many good looking things in here. It seems like it's a very popular place and check out this. It looks so good. So I might need to have a dessert as well. And you know the starter I'm having with the Avril Spritz is only 12 euros. So that's cheap. So this guys was what I was talking about. 12 euros for something like this. It's definitely not Indonesia prices, but it looks really good. And funny enough, just as I was sitting here getting ready to order, my sister's uh, husband texted me. He's saying, you're in Italy, eat for Christ's sake. And that is one thing that I'm not good at on these uh, trips because I'm so busy filming, planning, uh, editing, transferring files, so I forget to eat. So I actually haven't had anything but breakfast today. But now I'm gonna dig into this. It looks amazing. And then that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed exploring Bologna with me and the Ducati factory. It's been a pleasure. It's been a really, really good day. Another good day here in Italy. And I think tomorrow I will be traveling. I am actually gonna go towards Croatia because I have a Danish friend that's staying there. So I wanna spend a few days there, spend some time with someone I know, and yeah. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next episode, and until next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and good night here from Italy. Because it is actually such a beautiful town. So, but let me just show you because I'm here right now and it is 